Hi guys, this is Valentina Palladino for Ars Technica and I'm here with the new Atlas wristband. Yes, this looks very different than any other fitness tracker that you probably have ever seen, but it also does a lot of different things than any other fitness tracker you've seen. Um, so most fitness trackers today are mostly for running, um, but the Atlas wristband is a little bit different. Um, this was made in mind for kind of gym routine, strength training, that kind of stuff. So its main feature is to count your reps and your sets of all the weights and uh, things that you might lift, um, even crunches, sit-ups, push-ups, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so the Atlas wristband has a few screens you can scroll through. The first one is just the date and the time. The screen will time out eventually, so this wouldn't really be a great uh, watch replacement, but then again, it's pretty bulky. You probably wouldn't want to wear it all the time. It's not meant to be worn all of the time anyway. The second screen is where you'll find your um, coach workout. You can sync one at a time to the band from the app. So Atlas is a library of about 50 moves, like exercises such as um, you know, using barbells, dumbbells, kettlebells, all that kind of stuff. And you can sync 15 of those exercises at once to the band and then you can go into freestyle mode and start exercising, doing any of those 15 moves and the band will track your reps, your sets, all that kind of stuff. So the way that the Atlas wristband works is by monitoring your wrist motion in 3D. So it uses accelerometers, gyroscopes, and inertial sensors to kind of sense how your wrist is moving in 3D motion. And each of the exercises that are trackable, Atlas, the company, has spent a while, you know, hours with trainers and stuff, trying to map the exercise in 3D from your wrist point of view, basically. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into freestyle mode and I'm going to show you that it will track sets and reps of a specific exercise one of the 15 that I have synced to the band right now now out of the 15 exercises that I do the atlas band will automatically recognize all of them that I'm doing so I can go in between using dumbbells uh, kettlebells I could do crunches and sit-ups and push-ups and all that kind of stuff in any order that I want and the atlas band will automatically shuffle through them and know what I'm doing by the movement of my wrist. On the band, it recognized that I was doing dumbbell curls to overhead presses and it counted what I did. So then I can go in and I can tell it on the band itself on the screen how much weight I was pressing. So I just tapping up to eight pounds for the, um, for the dumbbell and then I can save it. Even if you don't go in there after every set to save and add your weight, the Atlas Band will remember that you did a set of reps. Um, and then you can go into the app after you're all done your workout, add in your weight, maybe if it detected the exercise wrong, which it has done once or twice with me, you can go in there and change that as well. But overall, it has detected most of my exercises accurately and it has detected all of my sets and reps accurately as well. So the wristband can also measure your heart rate, and it does so during any exercise, whether it's coach or freestyle mode, it'll um, measure heart rate throughout the entire duration of the exercise. But you can also go in here, and it will, oops, went back a second. You can also go in here, and it will just take a random reading of your heart rate. Um, what I found with this is that it basically is like any other wristband heart rate monitor. Um, it, the band should be ta uh, wrapped around your wrist pretty tightly for it to get a, uh, a reading, and you should be standing pretty still. So this is the Atlas Wearables app, companion app for the wristband. Um, and as you can tell, it looks very different from most fitness tracker companion apps. Um, front and center is this little kind of body model. And this is showing a, an exercise routine that I did, one of the um, coach mode exercises, core blasters that I did a few days ago. So this shows you where on your body you were targeting muscles when you were doing that workout. So as you can see, I was doing an ab workout here. And then I can go here and it'll show me a percentage breakdown of the types of muscles that I was working and it shows you on the side calories average heart rate um, the duration of the workout and on the bottom you can see all of the sets of different exercises that I did and here is where you can change the reps the pounds that you were pressing if it involved weights and you can also change the exercise name if by chance the the band recognized the wrong exercise which is pretty infrequent at least in my experience so the default page on the app is your most recent workout if you were to go to plan workouts here you'll see all of the coach mode quote unquote exercises that you could do you can only have one of these sync to the band each um, at a time. So you would go to these, this little arrow here and you can sync whichever one you want. Um, right now there's only about seven or eight of these available, but you can create your own custom workout as well. You can create a workout completely of things that you prefer doing rather than going to one of their planned workouts. Now, 
in the menu here, you can go home, you can look at your profile. What I really wanted to show you is the freestyle mode and exercise guide. So in freestyle, you can look at the entire library of specific exercises and sync the 15 that you want to the band. And those will be the 15 that you can do in freestyle mode that the band will automatically recognize. So as you can see here, the ones that I have chosen to be on my band right now are highlighted in yellow. And if you're ever not sure about what an exercise is, you can go in here to the exercise guide. This quickly became my best friend when I was using this um, device for the first time. Because a lot of these, since there's at least 50 of them, if you're like me, you didn't know what a lot of these exercises were going into it. So if you ever are unsure, you can go in here, click on one, and there will be a video, a short description, and then what muscles that it focuses. It takes a little while sometimes. And there you can see a kettlebell deadlift. So as a first generation product, the Atlas wristband definitely has a few kinks that it needs to work out, but I do appreciate its like intense accuracy for the different types of um, exercises that you can do. You really have to kind of slow down and do them correctly in order to have the reps count, have the sets count. And I did kind of like that about it. However, I do wish that it was a little bit more forgiving, especially for people like me who tend to go a little bit faster during my workouts sometimes. Um, but overall, I think it's a pretty good first generation product. And if you are someone like me who goes to the gym a lot or just spends a lot of your workout periods indoors, um, so it is $250 right now. So that's a little bit expensive for what it offers, I think, at this point. But it is trying to do something different, and I do appreciate that.